I'm I'm kind of curious what you got for a kinky corner. Like, what's <laughs> what kind of hot, sexy stories do you have? I thought you may well be. I found this great like mini documentary channel um, where they do these brilliant. They're like anywhere between five and twenty minute documentaries, and a lot of them lately have been pet play and. Oh, sorry, when I say pet play, we're talking about the a human being that considers themselves to be a cat or a dog or even a lizard or whatever, and they're, they're yeah, it doesn't make it uh, better. No. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's not bestiality, you know? Um, all right, let me just finish <laughs> opening these up and then we'll get stuck into it. Um, prioritize with crazy sex toys. Woman sentenced after public sex in Liverpool Centre. Tentacle porn, everything you wanted to know. I thought that one might be right up your alley. Ooh. Um, <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, Senate's passed the Respect for Marriage Act. How, how do you feel about the Respect for Marriage Act being passed by the US Senate? The Respect for Marriage Act? I've never heard of this. Oh, okay. Well, we'll get stuck into that one then. Um, why does this keep happening? Another teen gets a USB cord stuck in his penis. Um, of interest. Oh, and then we have our weekly sex position, which this week, people, is the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, look, we've had the we've had the wrestling. We've had uh, what do we have last week? We had pole driver last week, I think. Um, so yes. Oh, very good. So okay, and all this is very very um, out there, given that I've got a child's the bluey conspiracy theory: how the pile driver <laughs> position works. <laughs> <laughs> My husband's cheating on me, and he calls it male menopause. Oh, there we go. And people, I know that you're going to complain because it's not in. Um, Dark mode, but screw it. I've already messed around with this enough today, okay? Alrighty. My husband is cheating on me and calling it male menopause. Okay, all right, let's make this one quick. Some of these are a bit wordy, so I do tend to jump if I, if we need to. Um, yeah. it's, it's once again time for the weekly sex column. Of course it is. This week, we help a woman whose husband, who won't take responsibility for his, for his cheating and is blaming his actions on male menopause. Is there even such a thing? Uh, the problem, do you believe in male menopause? Because it's exactly the excuse my husband has been giving for saying he wants more freedom by dating other women. He says he's committed to me and will always be together, but when he stays out all night, I cry myself to sleep. Woman, why are you letting him do this to begin with? What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it sounds like there's supposed to be an agreement here, but there's no agreement. <laughs> like, no. One guy's just doing it. <laughs> he's just um, right out there. Um, we yeah. met in school nearly 30 years ago, and he's always been the only man for me. I can't imagine life without him. I'm also terrified of being on my own. I think that's your main problem there. I don't think it's so much that he's the only man that you have ever want to be with. I think it's that you're terrified of being alone, personally. I recently found a message on his phone from some woman talking about the amazing sex they'd had, and it tore me apart. Now I feel that sex with me can't be good enough. I've read that male menopause is a genuine condition, but the symptoms don't seem to apply to him. Who the fuck would actually think that male menopause is an actual thing i mean i get that testosterone eventually starts what like running down and that sort of thing but at the same time it's like as a justification for cheating what I, would, yeah what would male menopause be well i think it's it's a, at a certain point the level of testosterone sort of tapers off but i mean at the same time that's going to turn you away, like asexual oh, right. as like to for anything. a vice rider that happens at six but right <laughs> 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 for everybody else i don't know i don't uh i guess maybe maybe they go through something <laughs> I, I i don't know what that i don't know what that is uh, hmm. but i i i guess i'll accept that it exists i'll accept the premise except but yeah premise. it doesn't have anything to do with um it, it actually kind of seems like it would be antithetical to the idea of needing Sowing to go wild a bunch of people exactly that's yeah. what i'm thinking it's it's sort of like the exact opposite of what you'd be expecting um, okay, our children have grown up and left home, so they have no idea what's going on. I'm too embarrassed to talk to about it, to talk about it with them. Don't. Like, that's just, if, you, if you're having problems and you want to seek help, get professional help. Don't burden your kids with this, seriously. They don't need to know that, you know, mum's effectively a cuck, seriously. Um, <laughs> your dad has been stepping out on me. So yeah. I'm just I'm just asking you kids what you think about <laughs> what it. do you think no! I can do no, no wrong that's wrong that's wrong <laughs> exactly um I don't want to spoil the perfect image of their dad no shit okay well look at some point you may need to shatter that but as I said professional help first uh, it's not just our experts who don't believe in male menopause it's clear that you know that you're being taken for a ride 
I'd say your husband's having a laugh, except that it's not remotely funny. There's no such thing as male menopause, at least in medical terms, though plenty of men persuade themselves that it's real and that they've got it. But even that doesn't excuse your husband's behaviour. He says he's committed, but what kind of commitment includes such, includes such cruelty? Uh, a uh, Dr. Rudkin is irritated by her husband's actions. He's making a mockery of the biologically driven changes that women undergo when they enter genuine menopause. He's simply bored of his relationship with you, and so he has affairs which he expects you to accept. After 30 years together, it's understandable that you don't believe in his excuses, but it's clearly you've reached a point where, saying, where staying with him is making you unhappy. Really? That's what it took to make you feel unhappy? Oh, we have a new member. Thank you very much. Also, also uh, Aaron, I did pull this up. Just love your sheet, Hayden. Piss my pants. Lovely. Thank you very much for that. And thank you for the 20 pounds. Damn, we're almost at another shot. Uh, Casey, thank you for becoming a, becoming a legal intern. Very much appreciate it. Now feel free to go get me a cup of coffee. Um, That's really all they had to say. Oh, no, hang on. It's not. It's just that there's plenty of ads. Uh, Rudkin urges you to tell your children. Seriously? They don't have to take sides, but they need to understand what you're going through to give you support you need, she says. Please take control of your own destiny. Our experts agree it's time for life without him. Casey just gifted a whole five Aussie Overlord memberships. Damn, thank you. Okay, I got, I got, I got to take umbrage here. Um, yep. That is not something that you automatically tell your children. You see what you're going to do with your marriage first. Yes. Not like while you're processing it. Because you're going to be inciting a whole bunch of emotions into a decision where your emotions are the most important. And well, I guess, and and his and and that reaction of, yeah, uh, I'm not okay with this. Like if you're going to be stepping out and doing this, it's over. Or you know what? I guess I am okay with this, but uh, you, we need to set up some boundaries and rules. I don't exactly. recommend that path personally. Like, like I, I think that that might be, uh, that's going to be a hard path for many people to travel. And, and I don't think that most relationships are equipped for that sort of thing. I'm not a big fan of open relationships personally. Mm. Um, I think they're a recipe for, for some disaster. However, like some people, I guess do them. Um, but that needs to be a conscious and mutual decision with appropriate boundaries for if for nothing else than for safety. Mm -hmm. But, um, but my God, your kids don't need to be involved in that. You, because that's something where if you guys repair the relationship and and decide, well, no, 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 we're gonna go back to that whole monogamy thing that we had in mind, then mm. the kids never need to know what happened because it's not the fucking business. No, exactly. Right? Like, if, yep. if you're gonna resolve this thing, then it's not their business. If you're gonna like, if it's not gonna resolve, they're gonna find out eventually, probably what happened, and that's fine. Mm -hmm. um to be honest with them at that point but not now oh my no, god figure not, out not, what your life as is you, as you said not while you're still processing it. it it's absolutely like to to even try and go down that path is just ludicrous i mean at, honestly to expect the kids not to try and pick sides and as for whether or not you can actually have the um maturity to become a swinger or something like that clearly he's more than happy with the situation he needs a swift kick to the nuts frankly um yeah <laughs> <laughs> so sorry i just did see a two dollar suit check come in um rackets <laughs> okay they want they want you to read that one hang on because there's a aussie swear oh. word slang that they oh hang on why's the chat frozen oh i don't do this to me now um let's see which one was this um here it is okay can you read that one for us where is it should be on screen uh, oh, Rackets, can you read this super chat? Poofter. <laughs> Excellent. I'm, I'm glad because you, 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 you said it how it's not specifically pronounced. So on the upside, <laughs> I don't have to worry about getting yeeted for it. <laughs> it's, it's basically, okay. it's, it's like dropping the hard F. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, that makes sense because you call him a poof, right? Like that's uh, very, that's very English. So I guess yes. this is. That 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 came oh, from an, that came from someone in English, yes. Well, thankfully, it's not something that we have to worry about too much here. Um, but uh, that that was that was entertaining. Okay, alrighty. Um, <laughs> let's <to> see. <laughs> Hopefully, this was funny, interesting, educational, or all of the above. You can find me on YouTube and Rumble at at Aussie Overlord. And if you're interested, you can watch this video, this video, or you can subscribe here. 
As always, stay healthy, wealthy, and wise, and I will catch you on the flip side.